What is going on everyone? Welcome to episode number 9. Here we are playing chapter 3 and 4 part B because we didn't have the abilities to get the remaining 100% completion for the collectibles but now we do. We have the ball ability as well as the fly ability. I'm just going back to 100% to complete this. And one thing is this hidden confetti. You have to bounce the uh, scraps from the drum skins. Uh, that, is, that was two kills that I forgot and I missed. So there's actually two of those uh, drum scenes that you can bounce the scraps to kill in order to get the remaining confetti as well as the kills for the scraps. Moving on, still on the pig, in this beginning section, we, we have to use the guiding light. And using the guiding light, there are the purple plants that you can grow uh, throughout the level. And this one is a particular easy to miss one because it's really hard to get the light to shine onto the... You know the remaining last one on the very very side corner but once you um, get both of them that that might be the ones that you were missing and if you're missing some confettis I actually missed this and also there was a jump later on that I totally forgot and missed but now here I finally you know edged my way through to get that um, those remaining ones and then I just quickly checked the um, menu just to see if that was the last one and it turns out it wasn't the last one so I kept going to you know shine all the light and eventually I found that you know it was a jump later on that I forgot to take and then that basically this uh, completed my 100% for this chapter So we are in the you know the open area here uh, on the snow biome. We actually want to head over to this section where it divides from the normal biome to this biome. And with the ball ability, now we have access to this red present. So also staying in the snow biome, we actually want to make our way towards the ship. And where the ship is, there is this um, box thing that you can put yourself into in the roll ability. And it launches up onto this ship where we can talk to this giraffe looking thing. And basically we just have to complete the side mission which is taking a picture of him and also another giraffe that's in the background. It doesn't have to be in focus. So just take a picture when, uh, when, when you're ready and then uh, you'll unlock this blue present. So moving on into you know, uh, the entrance of St. Smithens Moor there's also another place where we can use our roll ability to get a red hidden present and it is along over here near the, um, the barn area.
So with the roll ability, we actually want to make our way under the bridge where we can unlock and collect some hidden confettis here. So now that we have the fly ability, we actually want to fly through the trees and uh, reach the confettis that we couldn't reach previously. And I believe there are five trees with the confettis that we have to cut into. And I actually miss one tree while doing this. And then I collect the red present, which is in the middle of the map where the giant pole is. Just We have to fly all the way up there and then that will unlock the red present. So if we go into the hidden tunnel, uh, there's actually a place where we can roll into and inside here there is a blue present that we can collect, um, a side mission as well as a ghost picture or paper craft plan that we can collect in this map. So if we complete the uh, mission for the blue present, we unlock that as well as uh, don't forget to take a picture of the mouse that we can find in here as well. So moving on in chapter 4, I knew that I had to come back to this level to replay uh, to get the 100% so that's why I didn't go in depth looking for all the presents because I knew I was going to come back. One thing to note is if you come into this area, I actually didn't even go to this area. We can actually take these uh, scraps and kill them for our confetti and the kills that I was missing and if we continue forward here we actually reach uh, one of the one of the red presents that I missed in my first playthrough in this. So once we collect that, that will be our eighth out of nine. Also. Having the roll ability allows us to come over to this tower to uh, to find the gopher. This is also in the same area as where we were previously. Uh, this is just before reaching the gate with um, with the wind thing that blocks and obstructs our, our path. So one tip is uh, you want to bring the gopher all the way to the entrance and then you want to get onto the green platform that we're spinning and kill the scraps before you bring the gopher because I died many times because when I reached the other side there's going to be a cutscene and during that cutscene you have no control of your character and once you don't have any control the, the scraps actually come and attack you and you drop your gopher so right now I'm just 
trying my best to get through this with um, with the gopher in my hand, which is kind of risky. Um, but you can play it safe or or be risky like like I am. So once you get past that section, what I like to do is drop my gopher here and then go towards the squirrel which is in front of us and throw him away because it's really annoying when the squirrel is uh, taking control of your gopher and and then you don't you don't have control of where the squirrel is throwing it. He might throw it, you know, outside the map and then you have to start over. So once you get into this section, um, just make sure you walk slowly into each little canyon path because um, there are going to be scraps that are spawning down, and you basically want to, you know, retreat and you know, make sure you play it safe so you don't die. Because if they knock you off, then you have to start over, which is really annoying. But if you play this a few times, you will know where exactly the scraps spawn. For me, this misplaced gopher took me so many tries, it got it got to the point where I was super annoyed and I spent probably like 45 to an hour, 45 minutes to an hour spending on this, so which is kind of super annoying. So when you get to the castle, we're going to have a scrap fight and you basically just stay at the very back and then use your wind ability uh, constantly to you know, throw the scrap away and it might, it might um, work out in your favor or it might not but just try your best here to make sure your wind ability is you know, constantly in, in action. Okay, if you made it to this far and you thought it was difficult, just wait until you get to this section, which is even more difficult. So now you have no ability, and you have no control of spinning the yellow platforms, and the crows are continuously flipping it, uh, which will screw you over uh, if you're too slow or you're too impatient. So what um, you should take the path that I'm taking, and then every time they fly over, just know that you can. Maybe do three honeycomb spaces, and then once you get to the scraps, it's really dependent on luck. You have to like spam your win ability 
Just, uh, you know, dodge them as well as you can. And try to avoid those large sections, but then sometimes it's really hard it's, and difficult. Also, another strategy is, if, if let's say we want a long section over to the left, we actually want to wait and be patient until three of the tiles are flat like this. And then here, I could have went, but then I kind of hesitated, so I was like, oh, you know what? Just play it safe. So here's where I go. So maximum is three. If you do four, you're kind of screwed. Um, it might be really tight. And then just keep an eye out on the scraps when they have those markers at the top. That means they're gonna do a spin ability on you. So again, we're gonna wait for our best time right here. Um, we want to make our way to the left over there. So that's two. We're good. And then here, wind ability. And then now we wait again. So once we get over here, uh, we hit a checkpoint, but don't don't let your guard down yet because we're gonna have a few more scraps to fight. Um, and for some reason, the wind doesn't really work well against them. Uh, when I was fighting and one time I actually got to this section and they knocked down my gopher and the gopher fell off the map which was super annoying because the checkpoint and where we had to deliver the gopher was right there. Also when you're using wind ability it kind of affects um, the motion of the platform so you want to stop using your wind ability before you actually travel onto this platform. I was actually really nervous doing this because I was like oh no am I gonna make it? And yep, so here you go. Bring him home, get the red, uh, the blue present, and we're good for this lock. So because we unlocked the flying ability, at the very start of the level, there's a place where you can craft your airplane. And you can just replay the level and then get to the start. It doesn't take that long. You want to fly up onto the tree at the very top. And then there's going to be some confetti that you have not accessed yet. And, uh, and a red present that we can collect. So right now I'm just looking around, I couldn't find it. It's actually a lot higher than I expected. So you have to fly higher um, to reach this place. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the next episode. Bye everyone!